Hello and welcome to another edition of Sporty's Product Pirate Videos. My name is Doug and today we're going to look at oxygen connectors. We get a lot of questions from customers trying to figure out which connector is right for their aircraft or portable system. So we've assembled this handy guide that has the six most common connectors used for oxygen in general aviation. Let's go through these line by line. The first on our list is the Aerox connector, better known as the Plug 202. It is a very small brass plug. Oftentimes you'll see these attached to a needle valve and that'll look like this. There's a small lip on these and a lot of these are found in portable systems. There are some installs as well but the majority are in portables. The next one is called the CPC connector and it's from Cirrus. It is silver and it has this little rubber or silicon uh, o-ring there at the top. There's also a big silver piece that you can use to grab a hold of it and insert it into the port. Most Cirrus aircraft will have this plug. I say most because not all. Some Cirrus might have been outfitted with the Aerox 202 plug. Up next in our connectors is the PB1 plug. And this is found in Cessna aircraft manufactured after 1980. That's including 1980. You also find this in quite a few diamond as well. But it has a neural grip on the outside and then a tube in the middle with this little latching mechanism on the outside for when you turn it. The Skyox connector looks like this. And it has this little needle looking thing that protrudes out that it initiates the oxygen flow and then it comes in through the side. Most Skyox systems are going to be portable. You won't find a whole lot of these on installs. The PB2 plug is a larger version of the PB1. and You see it's a little shorter and also a little fatter. This was found on aircraft manufactured uh, before 1979. And that's the Cessna brand of aircraft manufactured before 79. Most of those will have the PB2 connector. You'll notice the difference between the PB1 and the PB2. The 2 is quite a bit larger than the PB1. Finally, we have the Scott connector, or the NVSC, and that is a longer tube with a larger opening and then two little posts on the side, and that's how this stays into its port. It uses that as a retention mechanism. You're going to find this on most Piper, some Mooney, and also some Beach that are out there that have built-in oxygen systems. We say some because not all have this plug. When in doubt, you should contact your mechanic or maybe your POH and see which plug is right for you. To give you the executive summary, we have six different plugs here that are most common in general aviation. Two of those are normally found on portable systems, the Skyox as well as the Aerox. Now the Aerox is also found on some install systems too, so you kind of have to be careful. But now we're down to four plugs. The CPC plug is a Cirrus plug. It's most likely going to be found in Cirrus aircraft. You have the PB1 and the PB2 plugs. These are found in Cessna aircraft, and depending on the data manufacturer, it's going to be determined which one you need to buy. And finally, for everybody else, we have the Scott plug. That covers most of the Piper, Beach, and Mooney aircraft. When in doubt, again, check out your POH, consult your mechanic, and find the right plug that's going to work with your system.